Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies. In this video, let me explain how to implement NGX mask in Angular 17 application. First, let me provide some overview. After that, we can start the real implementation. So this NGX mask is the best directive to solve masking input with needed pattern. It's having some defined pattern. If required, we can create some custom patterns also. For using this NGX mask, the first thing is we have to install these packages. After that, we have to import this NGX mask directive and NGX mask pipe in our model. And also need to add this provide NGX mask function in our provider area. Using this NGX mask, we are dealing three types of data. One is numbers and characters and another one is date time. And next we can see how we are defining our patterns. So in this pattern, if you are using zero means it's denoting numbers, zero to nine, then the value is mandatory. So in case if you are providing nine, this one also denoting numbers zero to nine, but it is the optional one. And the next one is A. So it includes characters and numbers. We can use the uppercase and also lowercase. That's not a problem. And the fourth one is yes, it will allow only the string values. It can be uppercase and also the lowercase. And the fifth one is u, it will allow only letters that is in the uppercase. And the final one is l, so it will allow the letters only in the lowercase. Okay. So next we can see some of the important properties. So the first two property is prefix and suffix. In this real time example, I would say, we can include some currency symbols or else in this telephonic field, we can include the country code. And the second one is show mask type. So it will just act as like a placeholder. So the user exactly know what type of data they're supposed to type. And the third one is drop special characters. The default value is true only. If required, we can make this as the false. And the fourth one is allow negative numbers. It will allow the negative values. So the fifth one is clear if not match. This property used to clear our input in case the pattern is not matched. And the sixth one is separator. This is only for the numbers. It's having the limit and also we can choose the symbol. And the seventh one is hidden input. So this is mainly used for the security purpose. Just imagine you have one phone number. So you want to show only the last four digits. Others, if you want hide, then we can use this hidden input. And then percentage, we all know, uh, it will allow the only percentage values with the symbol. And the final one is custom pattern matching. We can define our pattern using rejects and then we can use as the mask, okay? Now let me start the implementation. So the first step is we have to install the packages. I'm having only created Angular sounding application. And here I'm adding this package in GX mask. Okay, the package has been installed. You can see. So the version is 17. Okay. So the next step is we have to import this NGX mask directive and NGX mask pipe. So let me go to my app model. NGX mask directive and NGX mask pipe. Okay, this is fine. Next, let me include this provider. And let me run this application. Okay, application in running mode. We can use this mask component. See the response. So let me add some controls, okay? So the first one we are doing for the number. I'm just adding this mask and I provided a zero. So if I'm typing something, it will allow only the numbers and also it is allowing only one digit. So if you want to enter multiple digit, we have to include the star. Okay. 
so next we can format this number I'm just providing like this okay it's four digit after that one hyphen symbol again four digit see if I typed something up to four digit it's fine if I'm entering the fifth digit see the hyphen is added defaultly and also it will allow the eight digits only okay because we have defined like that so next we can do the phone number formatting So I'm just providing like this, okay. Okay. And in this phone number, if you want to include the country code, we can use the prefix option. I would say prefix. So once I'm started typing, see, this is added as the prefix. Okay, let me refresh this one. So initially it's not showing. After started typing only, it will show the country code. So in case, so in case the initial time itself, if you want to show this country code, we have to use the so mask typed. So let me include the property. I'm setting value as true. See now, it will show very clearly. The user can understand very clearly. So once they started typing, it will fill everything. Okay. Okay, this is fine. So next we can see the example for suffix. It's almost similar to the prefix. Let me use salary, okay. So in this suffix, we can use the dollar symbol. So I would say if I four digit and two dots. Let's see. If I'm typing something, so this value should be included defaultly, okay. Okay, this is fine. So next we can use the separator. So we can use the same salary. Okay. So in this mask, let me provide a separator. So let me save this one. We can remove this suffix. Okay, so if I'm typing something, it's added the separator, right? So in case if I want to provide some symbol in this separator, I can say thousand separator. So let me provide comma. Okay, so now see so instead of the space the comma is included okay so next we can see one new property that is drop special characters so let me include here drop so the default value is true only so let me provide false i will show you the difference the true and false for doing this one, let me declare one property. Again, I'm providing the same salary. Okay. And including one span tag. And in this input, let me use the two-way binding. The same salary is included, okay. Now see, so it is showing thousand. Once I'm entered some value, the comma separator is included, okay? So in this model also, I'm getting the same comma. 
okay so in case if the value is true it will ignore the separator let me show you so once I am changed the value the separator is included in the mask area only but in this model we will get the exact value as the true number all the special characters are removed so in case it is needed we can make this is the false okay and the next two properties allow negative numbers so currently if you are entering this negative number it won't allow okay so let me include the property allow negative number so the value is true okay I'm getting some error okay it should be numbers so now if I'm trying to enter the negative it will allow okay so next we can see some of the string values we can copy this one so let me provide username okay so if you including this separator then it should be a number only so I'm removing all the things so I want allow only the string values then I have to use this yes so now it will allow only four characters So it's allowed only four characters even if I'm trying to enter some number it won't allow okay the small letter also fine it will allow okay and instead of providing this four yes we can manage one more way first use this yes symbol and use the brackets like this so if I put four it will work like that only it not going to allow the fifth character so if it is needed we can say now I added 7 ok so now we applied for the string the same thing we can apply for the numbers also so the next property is clear if not match So as per the pattern we have to enter the seven values I mean the seven characters if I'm provide so now it is fine so in case if I'm providing six characters only it will be removed automatically okay now I added the combination so now the first four places are characters it can be small letter or a capital letter so the next four letters should be uppercase the last two four should be lowercase this is our pattern it's not allowing because it will allow only the small letters only but in the first four letter we can include the combination ok ok so this is the way the combination of pattern is working so the same way we can use like characters and numbers also I would say like this see 
it will allow n numbers but the first four digits should be a characters okay so the same way we can use the multiple combination so the next mask is percentage So, you know, the percentage maximum value is 100 or less than 100 only, okay? So, in case if you are rendering higher more than 100, it won't allow. So, in this case, we can include the suffix also, then it is much efficient. So, this percentage symbol. Okay? And our next mask is hidden. So this is used for the security purpose. First let me define our mask. Okay. I am just using the phone number format only. And then adding hidden input. So now I'm just adding like this. Okay. And this suffix is also not needed. So if I'm typing something, it will show the last four digits. Other digits it's not showing. But from the model we can get the complete value. Okay. So if you want to test this one, just added a phone. So the default value should be empty. And I'm added one span tag. And we can use the same two way binding. So let me type here. See, so this is the value I typed. In our control, it's showing the last four digits only. Okay. So next we can move on the date and time. Data. We can remove this. So the first one is for date, okay. See? So the same way we can apply for the time also. So the first one is hover, then minutes, second. So let me try now. So this is the way we can maintain the date and time. Okay, this is working fine. And the final one is custom mask. That may be I will cover in the separate video. So now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.